to do and I remember some of the first things I do is I drew my own comic strips and uh, <laughs> I'd like to see some of them now. And I did a lot of uh, things uh, pertaining to both Greek and Roman. I think I remember my first woodcut was a, a, a bireme and uh, <clears throat> I did it on plywood. Plywood's not easy to cut but uh, I just kind of moved up the scale a little bit and uh, uh, moved up to uh, medieval history, up as far as about the uh, 1588, about the time of the uh, uh, Armada. Most of the things I do on the Bible are Old Testament. The Old Testament has a lot of colorful uh, things that bring great images to your mind, more so than the New Testament. The New Testament seems to be about words but the Old Testament's got a lot of pictures in it, especially dealing with uh, Noah and, uh, and the, the events surrounding him. This is the Tower of Babel, uh, rather a, a uh, kind of a cute picture of it. It's done as, in the manner of a mosaic. Well, I thought that the, uh, the guys built the tower uh, uh, to conquer heaven and they'll go to the top and they'd shoot arrows up there. Uh, but I, I've since learned uh, that they just, they weren't interested in conquering heaven or they just wanted to get up there and see what it was like. Joshua plays Jericho, done in a, in a, a mosaic style. Uh, mosaics are great for using color. I usually use, for, for a single surface like the wall, I usually use six colors. And I place the notes uh, with, with, a, with a cadence. They're all so far apart. And I surrounded them with uh, <coughs> the mosaic going around in a circle looking like sound waves. Because allegedly, if anything brought the walls down, it was the sound waves. And it's, uh, St. Augustine. St. Augustine at home in the city. I kind of got carried away on that. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, kind of the city of God. That's why I, I used bright colors. And uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. And this painting kind of shows that the uh, uh, the sun is captured by the stones. It has uh, a quality of looking like a target. And sometimes I've, I've shown this to people and they never even saw the stones right away. They just saw the, uh, the circular uh, image. But it does uh, kind of reflect something that, uh, uh, that sometimes the camera sees and, uh, and records. Uh, this uh, particular painting shows the Venerable Bede watching Easter sunrise. Uh, the sun is uh, very strong and it, 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 the Easter sunrise is so strong that you can even see it below the horizon. This is a, a painting where actually the viewer is, is a kind of a participant because uh, you would be standing on this boat uh, the sun is in back of you, shining on an iceberg, uh, and creating the shadow. This is a Viking boat, and uh, the Vikings were sailing by this iceberg, 
and their shadow appears uh, a distorted shadow because the iceberg is irregular and uh, they're Vikings and, and they like what they see. That's the shadow of uh, the creator of uh, Beowulf. I have him uh, in front of a stone, an archaic stone wall, uh, and he's writing Beowulf. Yeah, that's the, uh, uh, another painting about the, uh, <coughs> the writing of Beowulf. I wasn't too satisfied with the shadow thing. I thought that I, uh, I, there was more to say. So I backed up and uh, got a larger picture of it. Again, it's done like a uh, medieval illumination where uh, 11 trees can, can represent a full forest and a little uh, water can represent the ocean. Uh, this, again, is, is the shadow of the creator of Beowulf in the tower. You can just barely see his shadow. And uh, <clears throat> the clouds uh, kind of give an idea that this is a hairy time to live in. This is Pope Urbane II trying to uh, inspire the, uh, the people to uh, free the Holy Land. It looks like he's two-faced, but he isn't. He's just uh, uh, addressing both sides of the hall. These cartoon figures uh, uh, come from, I took them from a book, the Book of Kells. I didn't realize that in, in that early time that they drew cartoon faces. I thought this was something that came out with the comics. This is another crowd scene, yeah, great crowd scene with cartoon faces. This is the uh, Peasant's Revolt of 1381. Uh, actually, it was pretty well organized and they did quite a lot of damage. Uh, this was the early, uh, during the early reign of Richard II. And uh, this particular piece uh, kind of shows them uh, uh, pretty much afraid of what they did. They were actually running away from the fires that they created. The fires and, and their uh, Images are, are reflected in the cloud. The Duke of Clarence, uh, he was brother to uh, Edward IV and Richard III, and it seems like he was always involved in some kind of a conspiracy against his brother Edward IV. Uh, they finally uh, uh, got together and, and realized that uh, he was a thorn, in, a real thorn in their flesh, more than that. So uh, he was condemned to death, and uh, they decided that they would bury him in a vat of his favorite Mamsy wine. And so this is him being uh, immersed in the wine. Of course, it, it's caused the wine to overflow and, uh, and the bubbles to come up. 